Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. So if I'm not in church, why not be here teaching the youth of the future to teach them how to, you know, be a good basketball player, be a good person, learn what it takes to be successful in life. So it's a it's a great day all the way around. I'm gonna bounce you to the check. All right, let's go. I had great years. I got a chance to play with some of the greatest basketball players on the planet, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Jordan, James Worthy, coached by Pat Riley, won two world championships. My day's done, man. I'm just enjoying it now, and it's it's time to get back. Everybody wants it. 30, 30. There's nothing like the, the you know going after a world championship, the, the competitiveness, the the grind, and the hard work that it takes. So that's what we're giving these kids. This is their playoffs. This is their opportunity to to, to be hands on with. You know, Vinny Baker, a former world champion, former all-star. Tamika Dixon, who's a great teacher and one of the best WNBA players to ever play the game. Two-time world champion, Anthony Amen. Just a beautiful day, man. So when kids get to see hands-on people that have done it, it brings a joy and a light to their face. What they're going to experience today, uh, of course, basketball, um, as we have some great NBA, former NBA players here, and uh, Vin Baker and Anthony Avon and, and uh, Wes Matthews, and then WNBA with Tamika Dixon, uh, former LA Sparks uh, All Pro. And, um, and in addition to basketball, within the classroom settings, we're also going to be dealing with finan financial literacy, leadership development and um, social media, the ill wills of social media, if you will. So these, this way these kids can come away from this, you know, well-rounded and, and uh, again, using basketball as the hook to get them here. Communication is not just about hearing, but also listening, really paying attention to what your person is speaking to you, saying. Okay. So the thought process is, is let's bring in kids that can first receive what it is that we're trying to give them. You know, that's why we didn't really go too young because some of the things in the enrichment programs that we're talking about, we wanted to make sure that they can kind of understand it and relate to it. We're gonna teach them a little bit of basketball skills, some fundamentals. Um, so we're, we're having an opportunity to do that, but they're also learning some life skills in the classroom as well. Oh, this was a, uh, a conjunction of uh, of uh, groups, National PAL, the National Urban League, and also uh, the Retired uh, Basketball uh, Association. Having this positive interaction can show them that it's not all negative things that can happen in their lives. They can turn to the police in, for positive uh, reinforcement as well. And we try to uh, mentor the kids and, and teach them uh, you know, right from wrong in certain circumstances. And so we run these programs around the county and we try to interact with the children, the parents, and we're a voice, you know, for them, you know, to, to help them if they have any problems. It's a great experience to have great NBA players, retired players especially, that actually played the, ball, uh, the game of basketball for a living. As a teacher, it's a great, you know, experience for us as young, as youth. My father, he's like really good and I always used to watch him as he went to tournaments and stuff. So ever since then, I've been really good with basketball and it's just what I want to do. One, two, three. Over. Everybody wants to feel that they're, well, that they're loved and they're appreciated and that they're being heard. And uh, so the thing that I'm hopeful that these kids will, will walk away from is that they see that here you have these NBA players that have given of their time to come spend time with them and see and see firsthand that they care about them. But in addition to that, they'll come away from this with options and opportunities. You know, they'll see that 
there's other kids that may have some of the same issues that I have. You know, whether it's growing up or self-esteem, peer pressure, all of those types of things. And a lot of those things is what's going to be talked about as well.